to keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. The White House reacts to growing coronavirus concerns. If we can't go to the engineering building, there's like really no way to like complete the assignments or take exams. The University of Missouri joins the list of colleges and classes making changes. Plus, in a Target 8 investigation, we dig into a change in Columbia Police's pursuit policy. I'm tracking showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow. Some of us could get snowfall this weekend. I'll tell you where and when. Plus, by next week, we have chances for flooding and severe weather. There's a lot to talk about in the first alert forecast. This is KMU 8 News at 10. KOMU 8 News starts with breaking news. President Trump has suspended travel from Europe to the United States with the exception of the United Kingdom. It's all an effort to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Good evening, everyone. I'm Emily Spain. Thanks for joining us. Within the past hour, Senate Majority Floor Leader Caleb Rowden announced on Twitter the Missouri Senate will not be in session next week. He says it's to help ensure the safety of lawmakers and Capitol guests while the virus continues to spread. We have team coverage for you tonight recapping the virus's effect on college campuses and the impact on downtown businesses in Columbia. But first, NBC's Jay Gray details what President Trump said as he updated the nation on the coronavirus situation. My fellow Americans. In only his second Oval Office address since taking office, President Trump announces what he calls an aggressive and comprehensive plan to battle the coronavirus. We will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. The van includes all trade and cargo. I will never hesitate to take any necessary steps to protect the lives, health, and safety of the American people. As the market continues a free fall over fears about the virus, the president is calling for low interest loans for small businesses, deferred tax payments for workers and businesses affected, and urging Congress for immediate payroll tax relief. The president outlining his administration's strategy moving forward as cities create containment zones, limit crowd sizes, and cancel events across the country. In Oklahoma City, an NBA game between the Utah Jazz and Oklahoma Thunder was called off just seconds before tip-off. A team doctor rushing onto the court, warning coaches and officials that a player preliminarily tested positive for the virus. The league quickly announcing it's now suspending the season. And the NCAA has decided only essential staff and limited family will be in the arena. No fans during the men's and women's championship basketball tournaments. As health experts warn, things will get worse than they are right now. A frustrating and frightening long-term prognosis. Jay Gray, NBC News, Washington. Tonight, the White House announced out of an abundance of caution, the president has canceled rallies in Colorado and Nevada. Back here in Missouri, the University of Missouri announced students won't be in class in person for two and a half weeks. That's even though there are no known cases of coronavirus on the Mizzou campus. KOMU 8's Zola Crowder explains what students should expect for the next few weeks. Announced this cancellation just a few hours ago. No classes this week. Online classes starting Monday will look something like this. The week after that is spring break. Campus is going to be pretty empty until March 30th. The plan starts online, giving students a safe option during the outbreak. But some students in the vet school are worried their classes won't work online. Kind of nervous just because I don't know how much more difficult it's going to get if we can't be in there hands on separating muscles and seeing where they attach to the tendons down lower. All of the hands-on work will be missing. Um, the next clinical for next week was supposed to be um, going out to a dairy lab, and so we're not going to be able to do that anymore. MU spokesperson Christian Basie says the plan's next step is spring break cleaning. It will also give us an opportunity to reset the campus and to disinfect the campus as well. We Basie says campus should be ready for students after break. Our plan currently is for us to resume normal operations, normal classes, uh, the Monday after spring break, March the 30th. This freshman engineering student hopes this is the case, since the most important software she uses can only be accessed on campus. And if we can't go to the engineering building, there's like really no way to like complete the assignments or take exams. With spring break coming up, MU is strongly encouraging students not to travel unless absolutely necessary. They say if you are going to travel, to just visit your family. Live at MU campus, Zola Crowder, KOMU 8 News. 
A group of MU students and faculty who went to a conference this past weekend where one attendee tested presumptively positive. That person is not an MU student. The group of investigative reporters and editors had its conference in New Orleans this past weekend. One MU professor says they found out the information last night. The professor says they decided to isolate from everyone today. MU health and public health officials will work on deciding who gets tested this week. Lincoln University announced it is extending spring break through next week. Other universities across our state are taking precautions to stop the potential spread of the virus. Washington University and St. Louis suspended in-person classes today until at least April 13th. St. Louis University will suspend most in-person classes next week while it evaluates what to do going forward. Maryville University will suspend on-campus classes until March 30th while evaluating its next steps. Columbia College says it is considering moving all all classes to online for the semester, but for now it's staying open. On the public school side, Columbia Public Schools says it will stay open for all students and faculty. CPS says it will continue to monitor the situation. With MU students not needing to be downtown for two and a half weeks, we wanted to hear from downtown business owners. KMU8's Austin Walker talked to a couple of worried workers at a downtown store. As soon as a lot of, as soon as MU announced its closure, a lot of the downtown businesses here in Columbia offered some sort of drink special or happy hour, like Willie's Bar and Grill behind me, they have that as well. But I did talk to a couple downtown workers who worked not at bars, who said that this booming business right now could be short-lived. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Okay. After MU's release of a two-week-long shutdown due to the coronavirus, Anna Rose and Lissa are unsure. The downtown bars were busy, but there was only one customer at Hemp Hemp Hooray. I'm assuming people will go home or stay in their like, apartments or something like that. I think all the excitement will kind of die down after a few days. Anna Rose says she sees the negatives. There's a lot of our, um, since we're a newer store, a lot of our sales come from foot traffic downtown. So we do great sales on really nice days. And with the foot traffic kind of dying down, it's definitely going to impact our sales, I think. But for her and her co-worker, the problems don't end at the job. Lissa is a theater major at MU, and she's left with a lot of questions. How am I going to learn how to do a jazz combo online? <laughs> I chose to do in-person classes because I don't have the discipline necessarily. They don't know what's next, but they'll just take it day by day. Yeah, I was not expecting to hear news about Mizzou like this. I was not expecting to be really slow. I think it's only going to get worse. I guess we'll roll with the punches as they come. Melissa says that she relies on this job to pay for a lot of her college, but she's fearful that with less customers, it might be less hours for her. Reporting live in Columbia, I'm Austin Walker. Emily? Well, today at 5 and 6, we had a health expert answer your coronavirus questions. We took your questions from social media, and KMU aides Grace Witham also went out to find out what you wanted answered. Grace. Yes, I went around downtown Columbia earlier today to see what you had questions about regarding the coronavirus. Then we took those questions to MU Healthcare's Director of Infection Control and Prevention. So as a father of three young kids, I want to know how young uh, is the... Um the target, the at-risk group for at what age? I think the cases that we've known so far um, has not, there hasn't been a lot of children um, in the cases that have been described. And even for those children, they tend to have very mild symptoms. What's the actual danger here? I mean, I keep hearing from several sources, one of which is the president, saying it's no big deal, it's just, it's gonna be a bad flu, that's all. But you know, I've had the flu before, the flu sucks. The reason why it's a little hard to tell is because we, our testing has been really focused on those that are very sick and, and need to be, come to the hospital, but we really don't have a good grasp yet on those people that are otherwise healthy who could have the virus and we just don't know about it or they don't qualify for testing. I want to know if cats can have coronavirus and spread to their owner. We don't really have any evidence of domestic animals spreading it. What we do recommend is if people have it, to have someone else take care of their pets. And the reason is we don't, we don't, we don't understand yet how likely it is that we will transmit it to our pets. 
Missouri is launching a 24-hour hotline staffed by medical professionals for people seeking guidance on the coronavirus. You can find that number on our website at KOMU.com. In the studio, Grace Witham, KOMU 8 News. Take a look at satellite and radar. We have a lot of clear sky right now. A few clouds are moving through. We're pretty warm, all of us around about 50 degrees. Now, there are two systems I'm tracking for tomorrow. We're looking at this system getting out of the Nebraska Panhandle, out of, out of Colorado. It's going to track likely into northern Missouri by tomorrow, uh, late morning, actually in about 12 hours it's likely going to be here. And this low pressure system is also going to be moving in. It will give us south of, uh, of that northern Missouri area and central Missouri then to see some showers and thunderstorms from that. So let's go ahead and track this again. And that system moving along the Kansas-Nebraska border. More showers and thunderstorms coming in just to the south of there. You can see uh, those thunderstorms getting into northern Missouri, even closer to Macon. Could have some strong winds and even some hail with some of those. Now, we could also have some showers and thunderstorms popping up for us uh, in central Missouri, and that's going to be from that low-pressure system that's close to Oklahoma right now. And at this point, uh, we could have some of them turn into some stronger storms. It really just depends on the setup of the atmosphere and when this is rolling through. So we'll keep you updated on that throughout the day tomorrow. And then we're also looking at this line right here, which is the cold front rolling by. It's going to wring out any uh, remnant moisture in the air, and then it'll be out. We'll be dry by tomorrow evening. Then we're dry on our Friday, too, at 52 degrees. We're down to 40 on Saturday. We're actually in the 30s most of the day. We have a chance for snowfall there, too. I'm tracking that, plus a lot to talk about for next week coming up. Okay, thanks, Kenton. After the break, we bring you part two of our Target 8 investigation looking into policy changes at the Columbia Police Department. Plus, a mid-Missouri police department has a scam warning for you, and it's connected to the coronavirus. We have a scam alert for those in Boonville that's connected to the coronavirus. Boonville police say a man claims he makes house calls for the virus. Officers say he charges people 55 bucks to take blood to test for the virus. Guys, this is fake. If you are approached by someone promising the same thing, call the police. Mid-Missourians are now able to get screened for the virus virtually thanks to a new MU Healthcare app. They're offering $10 video visits so you can be screened at home instead of traveling to health centers and potentially exposing others. Anyone experiencing symptoms or who has recently traveled to infected areas should call their doctor or download this new MU Healthcare video visits app.